Rick, 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 Owen G's, Master Fit, Fit, European bitch is rubbing on clitoris, niggas kinda fit, society I can't fit in, yellow bone peach, big men, cookie cream wig, money kinda flipping like a brick, acrobatic go lay, with cream on her face, my course we sorbet, hey, playing with my piece and I'ma violate, hey, run up with that piece cause he gon' violate, hey. Marana was the last one that had it on, so it has to be in your house. So bring that with you. I mean, it should be. Yeah, yeah, so he just sent you the address. No, no, I didn't yet. I didn't. Okay, well, I will send it to you. But before you go, can you please secure the costume first, please? Because it should be in your crib. Thank you, brother. And the drone. Costume and drone. And tool. Well, no, I got a toolbox. Costume and drone. Please. Say you love me. It's fine. <laughs> Yo, bro. <laughs> Say you love me. <laughs> yeah, man. It's your boy, Marty V, man. I know shit a little heady right now, you feel me? We just getting shit done. That's how we do it. I'm a spontaneous ass nigga, man. I might wake up and say, I'm going to shoot a video today. I might wake up and say, fuck work today. And I do that all the time. But matter of fact, niggas trying to get rich, bro. So we in Broad County right now. You know, we trying to make it big. We doing what we got to do. So stay in the fact and stay tuned because we always got shit popping. Yes, yeah, sir. Mm. Hated release. Shout out to Hated, man. Please help my fucking souls, man. Jeez. Shit fucked up right now. Every month, it seemed like some shit got on cause out of me, dog. Fuck, <laughs> man. Well, so first off, music has always been my first love, but before music, I was always into the arts. You know what I'm saying? Like my mom, my dad, my whole family, we've always been musically inclined. You know, I grew up in the church where we were singing for the choirs and things like that. Like my whole family was in on it. My brothers were rappers and singers. My sisters, they were singers at one point, you know what I mean, type shit. So like, I kind of just grew up in that environment where like, music is the way you know what i mean and I, I just love that you know what i mean and um when i was younger i started writing poetry and shit you know what i'm saying before like i started rapping i was a poet first and i used to write like short stories and shit like fables and things like that i thought all that shit was mad cool you know what i mean so like as i got older into like middle school high school oh, type I started shit writing and finding like my actual flow and like my love for this shit you know what i mean like it was just a surreal moment for me because like, you know, when you start young and you don't have like, you know, necessarily like people to just like give you those keys to open those doors and you necessarily just have to do everything yourself. You know what I mean? It comes a little harder, but I was ready to fulfill that task because I always felt like this is the one thing that I have to do in life because everything that I've ever done, like, fuck, I'm not good at anything else but this shit, man. Like. I just suck at sports, I suck at everything, bro, but music. Music is just the only thing that like I can do better than anyone else. You know what I mean? So like when I came into my own in high school and shit, you know, that's why I really started like fucking with, you know, the 103 niggas. Those are my brothers, you know what I'm saying? Shouts out to ATG, shouts out to Michael Velli, DJ Ron, Don, all them boys, you know what I mean? Like we started real, real young with this shit. You know what I mean? And um I started really finding my own, finding my own light, you feel me? And that's where I like started like the skipping the school and just saying like, fuck everything. I know what I want to do. I want to do music. So I said, fuck school at an early age. Don't do that though. Get your education. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know what I mean? Like I just knew that like, this is what I wanted to do. And I just didn't know how to do it at first. I was just young and just kind of a crash dummy, you feel me, with no guidance. But that one goal in mind was to just music, music. That's all I cared about. And I carried that throughout like my whole young years of like high school and things like that. You know what I mean? And then, you know, as I got older, I realized, okay, even if no one's gonna give me the keys to this shit, I think I'm gonna fuck around and make the key. 
I'm gonna make the key with everyone around me and surrounding me that believes in me and that's given me this power invested in me because sometimes, you know, you go through these things by yourself where it's real dark and lonely. You feel me? Especially when you're destined for greatness. You know, you're gonna meet a lot of fake people. You're gonna meet a lot of people that's gonna befriend you and try to always get shit out of you. And I've always been in that position where like, niggas always trying to get some shit out of me. And like, my mother always told me like, you know, Madi, being a good person, you feel me? That may be your downfall one day, but you know what I mean? As long as I die, following my dreams and making sure that like everything that I've ever wished to accomplish is done and I leave a legacy behind to feed generations of generations of the people that I care about, I'm always going to be good. You know what I'm saying? So, um... When I was about like 18, 19, you know, that's when it really started getting like serious for me. You know what I mean? Where it's like, okay, now I know how to do this shit, you know what I mean? Especially growing up in the social media age where like, you know what I'm saying? Like it was different back then, the early 2000s or whatnot where like niggas is like burning CDs and like selling them out the trunk of their cars and like shit like that. Like, yeah, that's still done to this day, but like we're in a new generation, bro, where it's like streaming and just social media rules everything. Where like, it's not even so much like your rapping skills are, where like back then you can walk in a Def Jam and spit them a verse before security come and boom your ass and they're gonna be like, wait, hold on, don't kill them. Let's give them a chance, woo -woo, you know what I'm saying? But nowadays, like, you know, these labels and all these, you know, other factors, they, they look at like the follower counts and like, you know, how lit you are, things like that. And it kind of takes away from the artistry itself. But at the end of the day, like art, it always, re it, it, it's just gonna keep evolving and evolving. So like, you know, obviously I'm from Broward County, Florida, by the way. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't born here, but I've been here long enough to, you know, 20 plus years, man. I'm broad bred, broad dead at this point. You know what I mean? And um, Broward's music is amazing. It's so different with all these different sounds, whether it's, you know, these, these trap artists or, you know, these street artists per se, or these now alternative artists that made their name off like things like SoundCloud and things like that. And they, you know, furthered themselves from that lane, you know, which we're all using right now still to this day. For example, you know, excuse me, for example, you have the Lil Pumps and you have the Snow Perps and the X's, you know what I mean, who started off SoundCloud, you know what I mean? And they eventually reach higher accolades just by, you know, spamming and not giving up and just, you know, kept staying consistent and not really changing their sound, but just adding different types of elements to their sounds, you know what I mean? And um, I love that they stayed true and organic to like, you know, their their artistry and in, in, in their ways, you know what I mean? Because I feel like So like my sound and my type of music that I'm into and that I make, it's a little bit different for, you know, the demographic that may be used to just like trap rapping and like the little boosies and the, like the Kodaks and the, you know, trap lamp pads, etc. You know what I mean? I'm a little weird, but when I say weird, I don't mean like intentionally weird or anything. I just come off a little awkward sometimes, but that's all good. You feel me? Like I'm into, I'm into like the rock rap type of shit. Cause I listen to rock a lot. You know what I mean? Like, I love Green Day. You know what I'm saying? American Idiot. That's like one of my favorite albums, like fucking ever, bro. You feel me? Like, I like Slayer. I like all that shit, bro. You feel me? Metallica. All that shit's mad cool to me. You feel me? And I love the style. I love the style of rock and roll, like so fucking much, bro. You know what I mean? And the reason I took that 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 style and made it my own, because for one. I was never that like, that hood nigga, bro. Like I was always that nigga that could be cool with the hood niggas and get along with them and the white boys and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's me, you feel me? So like, I don't know, I just, I just myself, you feel me? And like, I love like the little peeps and like the, the, the trippy reds and like the X's and shit. Like them boys did their thing, you know, RP peep, you feel me? And just, just kind of changing the demographic of where hip hop is today because, you know, I felt like we couldn't even really do this back then. And when we tried to, it would be slight and very quick. Like, for example, like when Run DMC, you know what I'm saying, bridge those gaps together. You know what I'm saying? With Aerosmith, I believe. Yeah, it was Aerosmith. Walk This Way. You know, when Run DMC and Aerosmith made that song together, that was rap and rock coming together. 
You know what I mean? But after that, I don't really know much about that besides like, you know, like the Busta Rhymes and the Missy Elliott's getting real creative with like their videos and like their sounds and things like that. Just making abnormal normal. You know what I mean? And like, that's what I'm here to do because I can only be myself. And if that comes off as like weird or whatever the case may be, then like, so be it. But it's way easier for me to be myself than anybody else. You know what I mean? Like some people, like they may judge me off of like my clothes and like my style. Cause like, you know, like I, I paint my nails black. You feel me? I wear like fucking see-through shirts and shit. Like my shit, you know what I'm saying? But like to me, I feel like I'm a modern day fucking Jimi Hendrix, my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and also even with the rock and roll, like that all came from black people, bro. You feel me? Like Jimi Hendrix, all them niggas, they were, we made rock and roll, but we, you know, down the line, it got gentrified. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to bring that style back to my community and fucking back to Broward County where that shit belong, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just trying to make a way for niggas that don't want to rap about selling drugs and shit because they're doing drugs, you know what I'm saying? I want to make a way for niggas that may not be kicking doze and shit, but like they just hear voices in their head and they're trying to escape them type shit because that's the shit that I be going through on a day-to-day -day basis, dog. So like, I'm just trying to make it easier for people to be themselves because I feel like with this, with this generation of social media and like everybody flagging, trying to like just seem like they're bigger than they are or like flexing and shit like that, like bro, it's, you don't even have to do all that. You don't have to be accepted to be accepted. As long as you accept yourself, you're good, you're good.